What's up, folks? Another early morning. Just pulling off National Forest land. <laughs> Actually, this is all National Forest, but the forest road. Oh my gosh. Don't get used to it. This view. <clears throat> so let's see, uh, keto day 27. I'm three days away from being uh, doing 30 days of ketogenic diet, so that's pretty cool. One thing I have to talk about today is um, naughty, naughty dreams. So I'm basically starving my body of sugar. That is, that is pure carb, that's carb city right there. All right, start your potato, then you got your uh, pancake batter. It wasn't like dipped in pancake batter, it was drizzled. So only pieces of, it had only pieces of hardened fried pancake batter after you fried it. Then icing and then maple syrup. Jesus, it's weird. That you'll probably experience it. I've uh, heard of other people doing it, uh, having those same dreams. What is the speed limit? I must be going 10 miles under the speed limit. <laughs> Yesterday I had bone broth, cashews, and macadamia nuts. cold and I don't want to cook outside <laughs> and especially after the sun sets and the temperature drops even further so I bought an eight piece chicken from, Suf from Safeway roasted chicken and ate that as much as that as I could one thing I noticed and some people may notice this too is that the satiety hormone leptin the hormone that tells you you're hungry is released the fastest when you eat protein right second fastest is fat and the slowest is carbohydrates that's why you can overeat your carbs uh, easily so for me and I think it's because of the, the protein the hardest part of the chicken to eat is the chicken breast because start eating it and immediately I just don't want it anymore. My body's telling me no more. And I saved the chicken breast for last because I hate it. I used to love it. It used to be my favorite part as a kid because there was no fat on it because there was no grizzle, no tendons, no bones. It was just... And people think that uh, eating lean chicken breast is good for you uh, but it's not it's not as good for you as you think because it's missing that fat that your body needs 
Uh, so anyways, I could barely finish. I got through one chicken breast. I, could, I couldn't even finish the other one. It's so, doesn't taste good. And I don't know if it's, if it's actually because it doesn't taste good. I mean, I could put hot sauce and salt and pepper on it and it's, it's still like choking it down. And that's because it's just pure protein and there, there's nothing else. It's satisfying. It's so satisfying that you don't want it anymore. You, some people may have noticed that if they ever eat tuna plain, it's the same thing. Anyways, uh, went fishing yesterday. Didn't catch a thing. I maybe got a nibble. I don't know. The thing is, I don't see any fish in this water in this, in this creek. It's supposed to be great. But I didn't see any where I was. Uh, I knew this, these fishing. I knew these fishing holes would be nice uh, for casting. Nothing, no trees around, nothing. So I, uh, I walked down to these these pools, but there was no fish in there. And maybe my, you know, I have the fly. I don't know. The fly should work. But it was worth it. I found a couple places where I may go back and do a cold plunge. I just jump in the water. I'm really wimping out about that. I don't know. Uh, the other thing I have is there's this a book called The Way of a Superior Man. It's not a sexist book, believe it or not. I mean, one would assume with a title like that, but uh, David Dida is the author. And some people don't agree with him, but I mean, a lot of that stuff really made sense, the stuff that he says. Uh, I'll give you an example. He says there's essentially two kinds of people in a relationship, or two people, two kinds of people female and male. Now, uh, what is it he calls it? I forget. But, it's not restricted. Like, so he's talking about the essence or the, the, the soul or spirituality of a person can either be male or female. So, uh, a woman can have a male, uh, what did he call it? A male soul and the, the female, you know, male can have a female soul. Uh, or, you know what I'm saying? That's a terrible thing to say. I apologize. But anyways, in order for a couple, in his opinion, in order for a couple to work out, whether they, whether, whether they, it is male, male, female, male, or female, female, in order for that to work out, one has to have play the role of the, 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 the feminine spirituality, and the other has to play the role of the dominant spirituality. Um, when you have two male roles or two female roles, that doesn't work out seems to make a lot of sense to me although I think there's more to a relationship than, than that uh, and he says a lot more things which like I said I think that a lot of them made sense it's just it's actually been a while since I read that book but the thing that stood out the most the thing that stood out the most now this book was written for men uh, but a woman recommended it to another woman who recommended it to me so women do read it but in this book he says David Dias says that you should live your life like your father is dead now that's harsh right that's that seems pretty uh, especially if your father's alive you don't want to say, I live my life like you're dead, or, um, 
if you know somebody whose father passed away or is gone, right? You don't want to say live your life like your father's dead. Or take for example, my father, whose whose dad died when, when he was very young, uh, in his in his twenties. My grandfather died when my dad was in the twenties. I wouldn't want to say that live life like your father is dead in front of my father didn't get a choice right but the point of it is is to stop trying to live your life um, how other people how you think other people would like it stop trying to find uh, to seek others' approval. And I myself say this to people a lot. I've said it. Don't give who gives I don't care what people think. <laughs> stop caring, stop giving a shit what other people think. Live your life according to what you think and what you want, not what others. And I, I tell people and sometimes I look at people and I'm like, oh man, that's a shame that you won't do what you want in life because of what you think your mom wants or it's easy, easy, easy for me to say. And for the most part, most part, it's easy for me to do. I will say that it's hard to not seek my father's approval. And I try, and I'm really, I think I've gotten a lot better at it. Maybe I've even uh, mastered it. Uh, far from mastering it. But I've gotten a lot better. In a blog post where I wrote a letter from the 50-year-old me. I'm like, I'm pretending I'm 50, and I wrote a letter to the present-day me. And one of them is... One of the things that I said is, you're a grown ass man. You don't need anybody's approval, not even your father's. Um, so, I was making progress and working this, working this way. <laughs> Yesterday, my father commented on my Facebook post which is the video of me unboxing the, uh, the paperback books. And his comment said, I'm proud of you. And I'll be, and I'll admit that, look at this gray hairs. I'm an old man myself. I read those words from my father in a Facebook uh, comment. I lost it. I broke down. I gotta tell you, I've been waiting to hear those words from my dad for a long time. A long time. So, I guess I try to live my life like my, like my father is dead, but to hear a compliment from him, that compliment in particular, was the best thing I've heard in a long time. That's it for today, folks. Don't forget, 99 cents. My book is only my book is 99 cents for only three more days, and then it's going up to regular price of 2.99. That's three times as much. And uh, those, that's it. I'm gonna I'll, I'll have a link below to my book. I'd appreciate it if you take a look. If magical realism is your thing, uh, I think you love it. I'm getting really good feedback from it. All right, thanks a lot. Bye.